Welcome to Future Reckless TV. I'm analyzing the match that took place between Aston Villa and Leicester City. But before we get into the analysis, please remember to like, share, and subscribe as the channel is focused on the technical, the tactical, the physical development of the craft. And yeah, just waiting on you to do that. Thank you. Now we're starting off with Aston Villa, and they had the young at right back, Kunza at centre back, Mings at left centre back, and Dying at left back. Then you had Ramsey at left wing, Kamara at attacking midfield, Douglas at left attacking midfield, Bendua at left wing. Then you had Bailey as the striker and Watkins as the second striker. Aston Villa's system was of an attacking structure 3 2 5. Now, the 3 2 5 had Young, Kunza, and Mings, which Young was the right back that played the two centre backs, which were Kunza and Mings, to form the three at the back. Now, the deep central, central centre back is Kunza, and his responsibility is to play the deepest, while the wide centre backs, which were Means and Young play to give supporting angles to Kunza, as you can see here. Now, within the midfield, you have the deep line playmaker and the box to box midfielder. Now, the deep line playmaker was Kamara, and the box to box midfielder was Douglas. Now, the deep line playmaker responsibility is to give support to the centre box. It's normally the first supporter to the centre box. Yes, the centre box can go high. Yes, he can look to the left wing or pass the ball to anyone. But the first supporter for the centre box is typically the deep line playmaker. And this is why he typically drops here as the deepest within the middle. You have the box to box midfielder who is responsible to give attack responsibility and defence responsibility and he would normally be more upward within the pitch hence he would create a diagonal shape within the middle it's easy to pick out the deep line playmaker and the box box midfielder within the system just by looking on who is upward and who is downward within the diagonal shape now the players within the half space were Ramsey and Buendia now firstly these players are supposed to be between the left back and the centre back on the opposing side. And the space created will also be between the winger and the attacking midfielder. Because they generate a box within the half space, as you can see here. We have the lower half space and the upper half space. And the upper half space is created by the winger and the attacking midfielder, while the lower half space is created by the wing back and the centre back. Now these players are supposed to penetrate these spaces, stay between these spaces, and ensure they give options between these spaces. Now you have the players on the wing, and the players on the wing were Bailey and Dying. And remember, Dying was the left back that came to play as a wide player within the five up front. Now, this player's responsibility is to give total width to the players within the system because within 3-2-5, there is no player other than them on the wing, hence it's supposed to touch the line. Then, you have the striker who was Watkins and Watkins played as a fast line and he also stayed between the two centre backs of Western City. And this was the attacking structure of Aston Villa. Now, Aston Villa's system pertaining to the defensive structure was of a 4 4 2 mid block, a 4 4 2 high press, and a 4 4 2 low block. Now, Aston Villa for other matches that was analyzed by FWC, which is me. They used a 5 3 2 at times, they used a 6 3 1, they used a 6 2 2 within their defensive structures. But for this match specifically, 
they used all around 442 within all of the different aspects of defensive structures and the defensive faces you know now for Aston Villa's 442 they had young and went back in the right back position they had Konzo which was the right centre back they had Mings which came as the left centre back then they had Dain which came around to play back as the left back then they had Kamara along with Douglas who came to play within the midfield to create the two within the midfield then they had then they had Ramsey which is here then Brendia who came to play as the wingers within the four then they had Watkins and Bailey who went to play as a striker within the 4-4-2 mid block now this structure weakness as said before is that they don't have a defensive midfielder where the defensive midfielder will create a balance between within the shape but without the defensive midfielder it's easy to penetrate the spaces so generally the wingers would have to stay a lot more took a lot more beside the midfielders to create a more compact shape within the middle but other than that, the 442 is typically a widely used defensive structure. And yeah, this is the system that Aston Leicester City's lineup was of Christians, Faiz, Shotar, Castain, Talismans, Dewsbury Hall, Cardasso, Madison, Barnes, and Heen and Cho. So Leicester City also used an attacking structure as of 3 to 5 but instead of the left back going up they use the right back instead so you had the three center backs which were christine which was the left back that went inside to play as a center back and you had the two center backs which was phase and shutter then you had the defensive midfielder or deep line playmaker which is talisman and then you had the boxy box midfielder which was dewsbury hall then you had the right back, which is out wide, which is Castellin. You had Cardasso within the right half space. You had Iancho within the striker position. You had Madison within the left half space. And then you had Barnes as the left winger. Alright, for the for the necessary defensive structure, they use two systems they use a 43 in high block high press or high block and they use a 442 mid block now within the 43 high press they actually got a goal from this one Madison scored as you can see here but yeah with the 43 high press they had Madison Barnes and Hiancho as the three players up front that created the pressure then they had Talisman and Cardaso as the two attacking midfielders with Dewsbury Hall being the defensive midfielder. Then you had Christian, Faiz, Shotar and Castellin who came back to play the right back position while in high press. And then for the 4 4 2, you had Barnes which came back within the middle then you had Madison and Yancho who played as the two strikers up front to create the 4-4-2 mid block and yeah this was the system that both teams used it was a wonderful match played, it was very intense, but Leicester City came up with a win, 4-2, and congrats, this is Future Class, I'm out.